Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. This is an signal right now, so this will even last. But I thought that I would go live and show you guys some thing cool. I'm actually at the Toadstool Geological Park in, I don't know where, Nebraska. And it's a nice rainy evening. And I just got here. And I was going to get out and start walking around, but it's raining. It was really pouring down a little while ago. Uh, it slowed down a little bit, but it's still pretty rainy outside. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to try to show you a little bit of what I'm seeing because it's magnificent. And I'm surrounded by just beautiful plains like like fields and then on the other side there's like a bunch of rocks and stuff and <laughs> sorry Grant <laughs> I just decided to I actually decided to go live to see if I could even go live because I literally have like one bar on this iPad and I'm like I don't even think it's gonna work so I'm actually a little bit shocked that it is connecting because I'm really in the middle of nowhere and also it's raining and storming so uh so for those of you that are joining right now surprise <laughs> um let's see let me turn this over to live chat so i can see all the chats i'm just going live on regular youtube i'm not using any special streaming apps or anything like that and i'm, I'm gonna not even talk as much i say that now but i like to talk so i'll probably keep talking but um, I wonder if I can, let's see. Clearly I didn't even get, get ready. My hair is just like jacked up. My bed is a mess. The whole van is a mess. I actually went outside uh, like uh, about 10 or 20 minutes ago and I was a dum dumb and I, like when I left the van, I opened the door and there's a, a bench out here, I'll show you in a second. And I left the door open as I was like trying to take some footage, some just film a little couple things. And when I came back in the van, the whole front was just like, just wet. So I have a towel on my front seat and I had to wipe everything down and it's just kind of a mess. So let's see. Well, that's not a great, but crystal sugar crystal, so candy corn is enjoying. So there's a there's a bench with a cover over it, and there's a fire grill thing. There's actually I think there's a. I, can't really see things and then this setup right here and then I'm the only other one so so basically this is um, park I don't know what it's called exactly so what I I decided to do is just drive out here and it's I don't even know what time it is I had a late start because me and the guys from Noble, no Noble Nomads had, uh, we were going to meet today just to go over some things for the channel and I thought it was going to take like 30 minutes and we ended up talking for like two or three hours and so I didn't get any editing done and then I was going to come here, check it out for like an hour, go take, like go hike and then, then drive out and then go to, drive to Wyoming. So it was going to be a long day. I was going to, I was prepared for it, but everything just like kept going later and later. And it just, the day went on. And so when I got here, I just, um, I, I don't even know what time it is. I think I got here at like four o'clock. I'm just making that up. And I saw that you can come here and pay like a three day, three, $3 for a day use. What time is it? I gotta get my phone. Oh, 
Oh, it's 5.30? Yeah, maybe I got here about 4, 4.30. Yeah, probably about 4.30. Um, so there's a sign that says you can pay $3 and put it in an envelope. Nobody's monitoring. Nobody's here. You can put $3 in an envelope and put it in the little box. Or you can camp overnight for $15. And again, nobody's monitoring it. So I am going to go put my $15 which that sucks because I only have a 20 and I don't have change. Um, whatever. But it's been raining, so I haven't been able to walk over. It's over all the way over there. So I'm like, you know what? I never do this. I never just camp. And I have food and water. And the connection is pretty spotty. But, I mean, obviously I'm able to even live stream. So that's enough connection for me. So instead of driving the three hours to Casper, Wyoming tonight, I think I'm just going to stay here and um, camp. I never camp. Who does it? Not me. So I'm kind of excited. But like as soon as I got here, like literally like within 10 minutes of me getting here, it started pouring rain. So then I was like, I hope it doesn't start hailing because the other day, I think it was yesterday, when I was driving over in this direction, I had a bunch of hail and there like nicked a few pieces in my windshield. And that was not great because um, of my solar panels. So I have no idea if there's any damage up there or not. But this is pretty cool. I hope it stops raining enough for me to just kind of take you outside because I mean, it is so pretty. I'm going to take you in the back in a second to show you back there what I'm looking at because up here I have a stronger signal, I think, but uh, it's really cool. Let me see. Hey, Rose, Deb G. Um, I could use the iPad to edit, I suppose. Well, yeah, I, I don't know if I could or not because I use Premiere Pro. I've never tried it, but I definitely don't. I probably would not love to do that because I just am so used to my uh, regular laptop to edit. Yeah. If the connection's bad, there's nothing I can do about it because it, I'm like literally just kind of, I am actually surprised that I even have a connection. So hang in there. Um, hey, Rick's Gypsy from, oh, hey, Anita from Chicago. Thank you so much. Hey, HDJ KSA. Um, I don't have a new camera. This is just my iPad. So. Hey, Kenneth. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for being here. Yo, yo. Hey, Fre uh, hey Hope Franklin. Um, what's up, Anthony? Am I making waffles? I am not like, making any waffles. Yes, the sound is beautiful. I just love the rain. Lewis uh, says your adventures tempt me to get in a van. Get a van, and my travel trailer is so comfortable. Ran sound. Yes. Hey Judy, I am in. I don't know what I don't know what the name of the city is where I'm at here in Nebraska. It's at the at the Toadstool Geological Park. So I don't know what city officially that is, but it. It took me, so I was in a, a small town last night called Shadron, Shadron, and it took me about 45 minutes to get here, uh, and it was like a bumpy dirt road, so I was, and that was like, the last 14 miles of that drive was all like a dirt road, so that kind of sucked. Um, so I don't know what city I'm in. I just happened to get on here and see you live. Yay! Happy home, so might not be here. That's okay, that's okay. Oh, hubby so. Hey V, how are you? Hey Carol. I don't have a shower in my van, but I do have a toilet. And also, um, if I'm not around a Planet Fitness, I will just, um, I have that little collapsible, collapsible tea kettle and I'll boil some water, or not boil it, but make it hot. And then I'll just use like a washcloth and, you know, just do like a, like a standing bath. So I can do that pretty easily. Hey Vanshee Adventures. Oh, thank you so much, Parawoman Radio. 
Oh, good. At least it's not buffering. That's good. Watched your live stream Friday. Didn't say much because I've had a fever. Oh, no, hot tiger. I hope you're feeling better. Rain is a heaven sent. It's, it's awesome. Oh, no, Rose. I'm praying for you to get better soon, soon, soon. I hope it does not last long. Oh, Sioux City. Is that where I'm at? <laughs> Thanks, Marianne. I have no idea where I am. A lot of times I don't know where I am. Um, I've never showered in the rain, but that sounds luxurious. If there, Maybe, like, it's actually cold outside. I usually have no problems walking around in the rain. You know, I love it. I love, um, I love rain. So being from Southern California, it doesn't, it never rains in Southern California. Do you know, you guys know that song? Uh, that's Tony, Tony, Tony. So that's the jam right there. Um, but yeah, if there wasn't these people around, you know, I might take a little, little shower, but it actually is too cold outside because I, I was wearing shorts and flip flops because it was a little hot earlier. And so then when I got here, I, I opened the door. I was like, oh no. So I had to change into my sweats and tennis shoes. And then I walked outside and like I said, I left the door open and my pants got wet. So my hand, pants are hanging up on the fridge or on top of the fridge right now. The ones I was wearing outside. My shoes are wet, my socks are wet. I did a dumb thing. Oh, you're in Florida right now. Oh, awesome. V says, of course we know that song. I mean, hopefully you guys know that song. It's a jam. Thank you so much, Rose. I do really hope that you get better soon. Have you been to Kansas? I haven't been to Kansas yet. I do want to go to Kansas. Hey, Steven, how are you? I am doing really well. I'm just chilling in this just place and it just I just thought it would be so cool. To show you guys um hey tony from dallas dallas is awesome uh, let's see let me show you let's see let me turn you around so this is the view from my back window Oh, sorry it's so shaky <laughs> but it's like I'm just like backed up right onto this beautiful mountains and let's see it's hard to see but it's like literally just like nothing out there. This is my, my own little personal table and bench, whatever. And it's just so right there. Let's see. Ah! Walk on that little trail right there and go back there and see all the like rock formations. stacked up next to me. Everything's wet because <laughs> when I opened the door, I was made a bad move. Um, I'm in, uh, I'm at the uh, Toadstool Geographical, Geological, <laughs> Geographical, <laughs> Geological Park. Thank you, Kenneth. So for Wyoming, I'm actually meeting 
my friend Adriana. She's got that channel. Um, oh, I'm getting texts. Um, sorry, many roads, no rules. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, so if you aren't following her, you should. But so she is coming from Nevada and I'm coming from Nebraska. So we're going to meet uh, in the middle of Wyoming. I think we're going to go to Thermopolis because that's where there's hot springs, which I'm, I've been totally looking to go to hot spring. And then we're going to go to Yellowstone and I've never been to Yellowstone. So, and I don't think she has either. I'm not sure. And then we're just, what is my hair doing? Whoa. And then we're just going to hang out and just, you know, go with the pace and see if we just want to hang out and just do whatever. So, those are the things that are on the for sure so far, um, but I'm just going with the flow. According to the weather, it's 67. There, 100% chance of rain, rain, lightning, storm in an hour. Then supposed to clear up. Oh, awesome! Thank you, Barry Ann. Thank you so much. Because earlier I couldn't get on the weather app, so I was like, oh well, I guess I'm just doing whatever. Um, the best place, favorite place to travel so far, um, to be honest. Honest, Nebraska's a vibe. Like, legitimately, I've never been to Nebraska, and it is so pretty. Like, the big cornfields and the openness, I just, like, feel so spacious. It's a vibe, and also, um, I really did like Florida. The beaches are awesome. Um, there's been a lot of places that I like, but I've been feeling Nebraska. Oh, my gosh. I can't read the name. It's like too small. Is it Daphne? I can't, it doesn't show me the whole name. It just says D-A-P-H. So if it's Daphne or <laughs> I can't tell who it is, but it says you are amazing. Thank you so much. I'm going to give you a shout out. This isn't really even supposed to be like a real live stream, but I'm going to still give you a shout out because that's generous. Oh, I got to turn my sound on. Thank you so much. Uh, I think it's Daphne, but maybe it's not Daphne. And if you could correct me because I can't see the whole name. It, it cuts it off on the chat. Um, from Estonia. And we have some rainstorms. Oh, awesome. That's awesome. I don't even know where Estonia is. Oh, Daphne Landsborough. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, v coming through with the $10. Thank you so much, V. You guys are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, Steven says, I'm good. I never traveled to America before. Where would you recommend someone go? Ooh, Steven. It depends on the vibe that you're going for. Like, what, what do you want to see? A desert or, or beach or these open fields or, like, greenery? I mean, there's so many different things for America. So there's a lot going on. Hey, Robbie's in the house. Whoop, whoop. Uh, California has had its quota of rain for the year. Okay, okay. I haven't been in California in a few months. Oh, you bought a Ford Transit, Marcus. To build it into a life van. That's awesome. That's awesome. The Ford Transits are a hit. I heard those are like one of the best ones. Hey, Kayla. Looks like it's going to be a quiet evening over there. See if you can boil some hot tea and curl up with a good book. Or That's literally like what... I got here and the, at first I didn't have any connection. It was zero bars. And so I was like, all right, I didn't plan this at all. I had some text messages to respond to and I'm like, I guess those people are just gonna have to wait. Um, and so I just started like writing in my journal just how magnificent God is. Like I literally wrote a paragraph about how mighty and wonderful the Lord God is. Just just looking around, I'm like, I, I just, I can't even just, thank God enough for how, like, how much he's blessed my life, how much he just continues to, like, fill me up when I'm in, like, not even the best place in life, and just, it's just awesome, and just to add on to the, to the rain and the feeling of just being here in the open, and like I said, I was going to just jump back on the road and drive another three hours, and God was like, no, maybe you could just take a rest and just chill out and not try to be, like, all connected and stuff, and then I got like one bar. <laughs> so I was like, ooh, I can check my text messages. Maybe I'll do a live stream and just see if anybody else wants to enjoy this rainstorm with me. And here you guys are. So thank you to all the people that are just jumping on in the, what even day are we on? Is this Sunday? Sunday. Yes, yes. So 
Let's see. So yeah, after we do this live stream, I'm, I am gonna probably, um, that does sound good. I do have some hot tea that I can make and I don't have a book, but I mean, I don't have a physical book, but I do have, um, I do have some, like some, like I have a Kindle. I never use my Kindle. I have a Kindle, I've had it for 150 years and I've used it like two times. I just can't get into it. I, I feel like I need a physical book, but I don't have a physical book. But I might just do some journaling, um, some more, or I might, like, like, if I can pull up some good articles on my phone to read, um, there's always something, you know. I do have my Bible, so I, I mean, that's the only book I have in here, which I always read that every day. Thanks, Judy, I do too, the rain and the scenery. Yeah, I'm on the edge. I'm like really on the edge of like Nebraska. I'm 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 probably as close to Wyoming as you could get without being in Wyoming. If you guys look it up on the map, it's right on the edge. Oh, awesome. Oh, thank you Grant for posting Many Roads No Rules uh YouTube channel. Hey Amy Cook. Tina's the outside there's in the house. Hey, Tina. Wild and free, how are you? Okay, I'll check wild and free. I haven't checked my email today, so I don't know if you, if you sent it today. Uh, I'll check it. <gasps> Daphne, you own farmland in Nebraska? That's awesome. So I was driving through, like driving, just through the, uh, I think it was the 2, Highway 2. I mean, it was like, I was thinking all these thoughts like, oh, maybe this would be a great place to buy some land uh, eventually. Just, it's so beautiful and peaceful. Uh, I just, I don't know. It was just like really awesome to be driving through. Uh, thanks YouTube for letting me know I'm on live. Um, let me close this out. I think because the the connection's so bad, it's taking me a long time to get messages. Um, so yeah, I was like, Nebraska would be a cool place, but it would be far away from my family. But that, that is so awesome that you own farmland because I'm, I'm digging it. Um, awesome agenda. So I heard that you might need an entrance appointment to get to Yellowstone because of the volume of tourists. Oh, you know what, Anthony? That's a good point because that was a fact at the... Um, at the Arches National Park. Um, luckily, I went in on um, with a church group that day for the, the the holiday. But you're right; they usually have timed entrances now. So, and actually, this is a holiday weekend as well. So, I think you're right. I'm gonna talk to my friend Adriana and see if we can just do that. So. Hey, Lizzie and Louie from Bonnie, Scotland. Oh, awesome. I, I want to go to Scotland. Okay, so Estonia is Northeast Europe. So let's see, Northeast Europe, close to Russia. Okay, awesome. Chevy versus Ford. Chevy wins unless it's a Mustang. <laughs> uh, I have a Chevy, so of course I'm partial to Chevy, but you know, you can't go wrong with also a Ford Transit. Uh, Melvin, I am in Nebraska. Ladybug, I'm in Nebraska. I'm at the far west, west, northwest of Nebraska. Thank you for being here, Kenneth. Say a prayer for me. I'm going to try out my inflatable kayak tomorrow. Go, Tina. Yes, he will, V. Yes, he will. Don't take God's wonderful work for granted. Enjoy it like I did on my camp. Yes, indeed. Facts, facts, facts. Awesome, Tina. Hey, Joanna. I was watching some of my YouTubes and saw you were online. I'm so glad to be. Thank you, Susan. Winter is brutal in Nebraska. Oh, that's probably where I would draw the line. I'd be like, I love it. And then it'd be winter. 
and if it snows a lot, I'd be out. <laughs> oh, where's Hastings, Nebraska? Is that in the middle or such a different feeling than um, California for sure? And then different years back, just for like one night, I was just passing through, and I loved why night I was driving, and it was just like the sun was setting, and it was just like, just, just so. You know, that just that feeling of just like, oh my gosh, you know. I went to a place called Carhenge, and it's like, it's like all these cars stacked in, like, like buried into the ground. Let me see. I can't even describe it. It's weird. I want to make a YouTube short about, about it. But I went there yesterday, and it was just super cool. It looks like this. Car hinge. And that was, that was in Nebraska as well. Um, and I did that close to the end of the day as I was driving over here. There's a lot of cool things in Nebraska. <laughs> yeah. You should go to the zoo in Omaha. I was gonna go to the zoo uh, my great grandfather was named after. Oh, interesting! I was gonna go there, um, but I don't know. I just that's when I took my break, and I was just kind of like, ah, I was too tired to even go there. I do want to visit Scotland. That's definitely on my list. Oh, Kenneth, when you speak to us in the rain like this, it feels like coming home and having a favorite cousin over for the week. That's so sweet. Superfly lady, I thought of you when I slept in Forerunner the last couple of nights. I purchased the inflatable mattress made for the... That's awesome. I'm so glad that's working out. Amen, Lewis. Got my Bible open and watching the stream. I'm all set. Yes, indeed. I don't know. It's kind of near Omaha. Oh, okay. Um, Tina, I slept in a hotel parking lot in Shadron. Sh Shadron? It was like a small town of like 5,000 population. Um, and then I got up this morning and did some work and was talking with my noble nomad partners and it was great. Um, I grew up in New York. I thought I knew winters. Then this past year I spent winter in Western Michigan. A couple of locals laughed saying, and this was a light winter. I've heard about those Michigan, Michigan winters and I'm out. I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> Grant, you're right. I, I wouldn't be able to handle Canada's winters either yeah so tina knows about the michigan winters i i'm not built for it i'm just not built for it um I think I'm getting like a lot of text messages right now because I didn't have a connection and then all of a sudden I got a bar. So now all these messages are coming through. Ah. Marianne coming through with the facts. Carhenge was designed as reminders as a memorial to his father. That is so sweet. So sweet. It was really cool. I was there towards the end of the day, like closer to the end of the day. And it was like maybe one or two people there. Um, yeah, it was really beautiful. Like it was like a very interesting experience, but just very calming. It was quiet and peaceful. Uh, and yeah, I liked it. I thought it was really cool. Hey, Kats, Kats Katsi or Cats Katsi. Not sure if you are aware meteors are going to fall. What? Neither I'll stay at a friend's. I was born in Detroit, Detroit, Michigan. Uh, me neither. I stay at a friend's place in the winter. Oh, oh, Jim, Jim Reinders. Jim Reinders. Reinders. Oh, you stay at a friend's house in the winter, Tina. That's probably a good, a good idea. 
I'm doing great, Paul. Thank you for being here. It's so pretty out here. And it's funny because when I was driving up here, it's like a, um, like a really, like I said, a really kind of bumpy dirt road. Um, and so at first I was like going like super slow. And then I was like, wait, I just got brand new tires and they're all terrain tires. So I started speeding up and it actually was smoother the faster I went. So I was like, okay, that's not bad. And there was people coming and going and there was like dirt flying everywhere. Uh, and so I haven't seen anybody roll through in a while. I think they're realizing like it's raining. Um, about, I don't know, an hour ago, somebody rolled through and you could tell that they were here to go take the little hiking trail. And there was like, like four family members, it looked like. And they walked about like not even far and they took like three pictures and then they ran back to their car because it started raining. And for them, because I think they were here to like take the little hike. I don't know how far the hike is into the thing, like into, cause toadstool has those like looking, like weird looking rocks that look like toadstools or toads, toad, whatever. Um, let's see, toadstool park trails. Let's see what it says about trails. I'm actually like really surprised that I'm getting even a connection. Okay, so there it says there's a one mile loop trail leaving from the picnic area, which is where I'm at now. Um, so if I end up staying here tonight, which looks like I'm going to, then I'll probably get up in like first thing in the morning and take that walk. And so I can, you know, take some pictures and videos and just embrace this awesomeness because like I said, I was going to just come here and like just jam and do it for like an hour. But God knows what's up. Like he knows I need to slow down. And I just took a break and said I'm not going to keep doing that kind of thing and doing this and that. Um, so this is actually way better. And like I said, I never camp. I never pay for camping. I never do that. But. This is just so beautiful and awesome and just kind of like no, in the middle of nowhere that it just feels very secluded and almost like really like private. So it's like my own little private awesomeness. Awesome. with an oh a meteor meteor shower that, that's pretty awesome hey we're east coast this is like open fields like so look at these people got the full-on setup bro they're ready they were already here when i got here but it just goes like as far as the eye can see all these just open plains it's just so beautiful and that's Uh, I know it keeps cutting out a little bit. I wonder if I can take this. The mountains are stunning. Thank you for sharing. Really another undiscovered natural beauty of the country. Yes. Let me, where's my shoes? shoes on and see if I could just walk out where there's where's the table is covered but this time oh.
I don't know if we're still connected because I can't I can't see anything. And it's really cold and my shoes are now I can't tell if we're still connected or not connected. Now I gotta wipe off my iPad. My dash is dirty. I never realized. I haven't cleaned this in a while. Gross. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if we were still connected or not because it just kind of dropped and then it said zero people. So that was weird. Oh my. Hey, Sassy Crafty Kitchen, Stephanie. How are you? I'm doing really well. I'm in a beautiful location. I think the rain has pretty much stopped. It's just like sprinkling a little bit. Uh, I did step in a few puddles right now. <laughs> so my shoes and socks are wet. So I'm gonna let have to let those dry out. Yes. Um, I think when I left the van, it was too unstable. So. But hopefully, I don't know if you guys got to see when I was not in the van, when I was walking you guys around outside. I hope you guys could see it because it's just really, I mean, it's just, it's really beautiful. That's not even the right, I can't even express how just open and awesome it feels out here. It's just like you could just breathe and just feel just open and awesome. And I did hear a train a little while ago, so that was pretty cool. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm actually surprised that I'm even getting this connection. So how are you guys doing? This little hair right here, it just wants to stand out and be a show off and just do whatever it wants to do. Let's see, just... Just doesn't go. <laughs> it just doesn't want to go down. Okay, okay, okay. Um, nice. We're here. So dry. So many fires. Oh no! Can you send prayers so we can have some rain? We need. To yes. Where are you? Yes. I think the rain was definitely affecting the connection. It's pretty well stopped. Uh, it's definitely gray and cloudy, so I would imagine it's going to uh, maybe start raining a little bit later as well. But I would go back and just take the little mile walk, but you know how it goes. It's You start and it's dry, not dry, but you know, not raining. And then I'll be like halfway through it and it'll start pouring down rain. So I think I'm just going to stay put in my van for tonight. And then in the morning, maybe do the the little walk, the little trail walk. Um, it's so cozy and nice in here. It's, it's weird because, you know, usually I like to kind of think about it if I'm going to go and stay somewhere overnight, like in terms of camping or like being in away from civilization. But this just kind of fell upon me and I'm like well it's not a bad idea I don't mind staying here there's only let's see one let's see one two three four five six six camping spots and it's first come first serve or maybe seven six or seven camping spots and 
you know. So you can't reserve anything. You just show up, and if there's a spot, you can stay here. So maybe because of the weather, there was not very many people. When I got here, more of these spots were filled in, but then the people just, just left. So I think they were just coming to check it out. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a unique experience that I will not really have very often. So I think it's going to be nice, like a nice night. Like maybe I'll make something like, um, like warm. I don't know. Um, I have some like stuff to make spaghetti, but that seems like too involved. I think I'm too lazy for that. Um, I do have some frozen stuff that I could cook. Like I have some, the Japanese rice that I like to get at, at um, Trader Joe's. That's a hit. Um, for lunch, I made a bagel with like veggies, like avocado, tomato, cucumber, and I put a little vegan mayonnaise on there and it was delicious. Um, but I wonder if I have any soup. I know I have some, like, I know I have rice that I could just throw in the microwave like Spanish rice or whatever, but I don't know what I would put with that because I don't have, actually I do have a can, I do have, I think I have a couple cans of black beans and stuff like that. So I could maybe like make a little Mexican fiesta. That might be cool. I might do that. I also have some veggie burgers. I, I really do wish I had some soup and I might check and see if I do have a, a couple cans of soup in there. I'm not sure if I do, but soup would be like a nice, cozy, um, rainy, rainy night meal. And now everything's wet outside though. Cause I would have sat at that table and just like had a whole situation. But if I sit out there, it's going to be too wet. So it's still nice to just be able to look out my windows. Like, you know, well, I can't see, but, you know, I could see when I'm in the back, just laying on the bed. I could see out, out. And so it's just, like, really nice. I wonder if anybody's on that trail right now. I'm just, I just thought about that. Look at that. I mean, come on now. What is going on? Look at that. That's a whole beautiful thing. Just, like, such a pretty view. I wonder if their, um, their pop-up is like waterproof I've never I don't know about those like those like pop-up tent looking things are those waterproof because otherwise they're gonna be they would have gotten soaked out maybe it just runs off the sides oh awesome Kayla good oh Santa Fe New Mexico oh my gosh okay yeah yeah, definitely prayers for you guys. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. <laughs> Good one, Grant. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, HGJ, I was curious, do you ever leave reviews on Google Maps? A person who gets around as much as you must have a lot of... So you know what? I have the all the intentions of doing it. And I... God, that scared me. It's my water alarm. <laughs> Um, I have every intention of doing it and there are times where I do it. It's like I go somewhere and then I drive off and I forget to do it. So if I think about it, I do, but I haven't done as many as I want to because I think there's, I go to so many places, like you said, I think I could be a top contributor if I just buckle down and just do it. Like as soon as I walk out of somewhere, maybe I'll do that tonight. That would be cool. If I, if I maintain a connection, I might go on and start doing that because I think it would be good and people might find travel snacks because of those contributions so that's a good reminder i have it on my list to do that more often and so i always forget to do it but yeah um are you comfortable living in your van i am very comfortable living in this van it's super cozy um the the bed it's not made but the bed is comfy the com my comforter is comfy um you know, I have water, I have all the stuff I need in my fridge, I have snacks. Um, yeah, it's, it's really cozy in here. I have um, fresh cut watermelon and, and I have 
fresh red cherries. Those are, and I have some bananas and apples. Those are my fruits that I have for the week. So I'm good to go on that. Um, so yeah, I do have that. I had enough water today to share with you guys and show you some cool sceneries. Um, Very bad connection message would go away. I'm as it's saying that the connection is super super bad. I wonder if I can make it there, Anthony. I have the Ninja Foodie, which is uh, like a nine in one situation. It has um, an air fryer and it has a pressure cooker, a saute feature. Like you can even bake in there. I haven't baked anything, but. There's a lot of different options. So yeah, I do have an air fryer. Uh, thank you, Jimmy. Look fabulous and love watching your travels. Stay safe. Awesome. All right. Well, we're having a pretty bad connection. It keeps um, saying that on my screen. Um, if you guys have any last questions or anything, please let me know right now because I'm about to close out soon because I think this isn't the best connection. Um, hey, jr 2 N01. Hope you're enjoying the park. Despite the rain, you're not far from Fort Robinson, a former Buffalo soldier post for the 9th and 10th. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Oh. That is really cool. Um, don't come south. Okay, I don't know what's happening south. Um, Kenneth Bennett, you memorized the Book of Red. Revelation. Yes, Wim Cat, that's that. Uh, now that you say that, that is pretty intense if you memorize the whole book. Uh, my bladder doesn't do well with me drinking a lot of water. I mean, same. Whenever I drink a bunch of water, then I'm like back and forth to the toilet like a million times. Um, do you ever think about writing a book? Um, I've thought about it, but I think it, I don't know. I think there's so many, so many distractions and um, so many people just, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Like so many people writing books about their experiences. And I'm like, does, do we need another book about one person's experience? I don't really know. Like, I don't know it would be worth it to write a book. <laughs> I mean, I journal every day in terms of just like, my my journey and you know things i'm going through and stuff but in terms of writing a book on it i don't know maybe when i'm like in my 70s or 80s or whatever and i'm just bored then maybe i'll be like i want to write down my memoirs and then i can you know publish it and i don't know see what's up but i don't know Uh, hey, I'm 20. I love watching your videos. I plan to start van life. Any tips for recharging batteries other than from the alternator? Um, well, of course, if you have solar panels, that's going to be do it where you, you connect with the alternator. That would, I think solar would be pretty much, pretty much the only other way. Um, so I would say those are the two ways that I know of. Uh, oh, I mean, it's so funny because low key, I've had a lot of interesting things. I've done a lot of interesting things to me. It's, I feel like I've already in my 48 years lot led a very roller coaster -y, up and down weird life. Like there's many things that I've been involved in. That's, like you know most people don't go through in their life and you know i could write a book you know i was in a cult before i was on a, a dating show on television before uh i've traveled a bunch i lived lived in a van i've been married twice i've like 
I don't even know, a billion other things I can't even think of. I went on a solo journey to Europe for three months. I went to South America and, you know, like, I don't know. I can't even tell you. There's so many other things that I've been through and done in my life that I probably could write a book that would be fairly interesting. Um, but I don't know. It just seems like so much extra work at this point in my life. Like I said, maybe, like maybe, maybe not when I'm in my seventies or eighties, but maybe like in the next two years, I'm really trying to get like a little small patch of land so I can get off the road at times. And if I did that and I had just like a, a, a moment to just sit and just think and write and not have to con like constantly do content creation, maybe I would start doing that. Just like write down some different, you know, different chapters, like chapters in my life to make different chapters in a book. I mean, I might do that. I think it, I, I love to write and I am a, actually a really good writer, to be honest. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Like I have always been a better writer than speaker. Um, a lot of times just in general, I've always had a harder time thinking on my feet. And when I have a chance to just sit and think and write things down, it comes off so much better. And I've always had a knack for writing. So, um, you know, it might be something that I would do in the future, but uh, you know, I think I would just have to have a moment to have a clear mind to do that. I don't want to do it just to write a book to, to put it out to the masses. I think it had to be something where I enjoyed doing it in the process. <laughs> Joanna, yes, I was in a church cult before. Thank you, Kayla. Uh, Deb G, I have another channel with my two nomad friends. It's called Noble Nomads. That's my other. That's my other channel. And actually, we're gonna be going. Actually, not you guys are the only ones that's gonna know about this right now. We're actually gonna be going live on Tuesday um, at four p.m. Pacific. 7, 7 p.m. Eastern. So if you guys want, we're going to be talking ah, on the Noble Nomads. If you're not already subscribed to the Noble Nomads podcast, not podcast, the Noble Nomads YouTube channel, or if you're not subscribed to Tarot Snacks, I mean, start with that. But the Noble Nomads, we're going to be talking about a lot more stuff. We're going to be actually coming up talking about on Tuesday um, how some states are making it illegal, like a felony to be like camping, to camp out like in cities and stuff like that. So we're going to be talking about that on Tuesday. And I think from now on, instead of doing pre-recorded videos, we're going to move to more live streams and stuff like that. So, excuse me. So that'll be, that'll be fun. My kids said, my kid says he thinks I'd end up in a cult. I mean, it's, you know, I was in my twenties, so, you know, you never think you're going to be in a cult until you're in a cult. <laughs> Thank you, Graf, for posting that. Writing is an important skill. Lord knows the struggle is real for my ability to communicate through writing. Deb G, yeah, I'm the opposite. I have a harder time speaking, but I have an easier time writing. Uh, HGJ, I used to watch No Can't Fan Drew all the time when he had his Jeep, when his Jeep broke down and he wasn't able to fix it. I was so sad. I know, I know. And now he's without his van too. So it's kind of a bummer. He's trying to get back going with that, but he's had some troubles getting that together. In Toronto, you can't camp out on a city park overnight. Yeah. So there's gonna, there's like a lot of different like states and stuff. Well, not a lot, but there's a couple already that have made it a felony to, uh, I don't know if it's called urban camping or something like that. So it's really crazy. And so we're going to be talking about that topic. Uh, and, and there's different, we think there's different reasons why this is happening. It's not just like straight, straightforward. So we'll be having a nice conversation. And so we'll be going live on that 
um, the way we're going to be doing our lives on that channel is we're going to just be talking. And so it's more of like a listening situation. And then at the very end, when we're done with our talking, then we'll answer questions and stuff because it'll be easier for us to put that out as a podcast. And also it'll be easier for people to, um, watch the replay without us constantly saying, Hey, so-and-so, Hey, so-and-so as a lot of people kind of don't want to watch replays of live streams because of that. All these people are taking a little walk. I'm nosy. I don't, are you guys nosy? <laughs> I'm like such a nosy person. Uh, I'm an ear, hus ear hustler too. Like I'll listen in on people's conversations, like at coffee shops and stuff. And I'm always paying attention to people and what they're doing. And so, you know, oh, they have like, like oh, okay. I didn't realize this before, but I think those are bathrooms over there that's pretty cool i don't know if they have showers but I, they definitely have times that i got a knock on my van from security was in walmart parking lot so i just gave up on that so i usually don't stay in walmarts but i've never been and worried about it because I usually try to stay around other RVs or other cars or something like that. So uh, I've never really been worried. About your people with like the sprinter vans, I think maybe they might have, I, I don't know because I don't have one, but they might be more of a target if somebody's has that in their mind to do. Um, but I don't really worry about that i don't have very many like luxurious things in here and if i go in somewhere i usually take my laptop with me because that's probably the most important thing so i don't really worry about it um i do have my camera but like i, I don't really use the camera anymore uh, so i might end up, end up selling that when i go back to california i don't know but I, if I, you like all your stuff in the way it is you don't want someone tampering with anything um but I try not to worry about that because that can happen anywhere. And I try not to park just in some random places that I would feel nervous about that. So I don't, I don't really focus on that, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely a possibility, but I, like I said, I don't, I don't like, uh, you, I think all casinos pretty much have security. Uh, they have cameras. So I've heard from security people that as long as you go in you know to the casino for a little while and then go back out as long as you've done that um they usually don't have a problem but that's very interesting uh joanna says i have stayed at many, many walmarts no issues except at one where the nice lady security person asked me to move and even suggested someplace oh okay that's that's good yeah uh, i mean of all the walmarts i've stayed at i've only had two problems but but I just got sick of it because I was just like, um, there's other places up the road from your location. Feel free to drop by message saying that's a bum parking lots. Um, and I don't know if it got cut off or not. So. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna. I think we're gonna wrap it up because, and bad connection. Um. Um, oh, yeah, 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 it's just a nice, quiet evening.